Hey, Paul Halliday here for LearnIonic2.com and today we are going to create a flashlight application with Ionic 2 and Ionic Native 3.1. So to start with, head over to your repos directory and create a new app named Flashlight based on the blank template and an Ionic 2 app with the dash dash v2. Okay, now we can cd into that directory, so we'll do cd flashlight. Then we need to add both the Cordova plugin and the Ionic Native plugin for the flashlight. So to start with, run Ionic plugin add, Cordova plugin flashlight. I'm going to save that to the project. Then we'll also install the Ionic Native wrapper by using npm install at ionic native slash flashlight. And we'll save that to the project too. I'm then going to open up in VS Code using code dot. The first thing that we need to do, and this is the same for any Ionic Native plugin, is to head over to appmodule.ts and import our flashlight from Ionic Native slash flashlight. After that, we need to add it to our providers list, so we can add flashlight to providers. And then I'm going to head over to home.html. Let's quickly add a little template, so Ionic 2 flashlight. And I'm going to change the color of the navbar to primary. Inside of our ion content, we'll need an ion fab. Inside the fab container will be a button. And the color of the button will simply be light. And inside the button, we'll have an ion icon, which is simply going to be iOS flash outline. The fab will be in the bottom center of the page. The next thing to do is head over to home.ts and import flashlight from Ionic Native. So we can import it from Ionic Native flashlight just there. And then we can inject it inside of our constructor. So private flashlight, flashlight. And the first thing that I want to do is check to see whether flashlight is available or not on the device. So to do that, we'll make an async function. To use async in our project, we need to go to TS config and change our target from ES5 to ES6. So our function will return a boolean to determine whether the flashlight is available. So we can do async is available and this will return a promise of which will be a boolean. So we can try to return the resolved promise of this.flashlight.available and this is going to determine whether the device supports the flashlight or not. And if we can't, we're simply going to log out the error. Right now, I'm simply going to make our fab button have this click event. So we'll have click is available. And for testing purposes, we could simply put this to a value and log it out. So when we click our button on the desktop, we get Cordova not available. And this is because it tried to get the available flashlight and of course couldn't. So it logged out the catch function. On the device, this should work. And it'll return either true or false, depending on whether it's actually available on that device. So for now, we can simply go back to returning the result. And now we want to write the functionality to toggle the flashlight. So essentially we want to toggle the flashlight to an on or off state, we can get whether the flashlight is available or not. If it is available, we can toggle the flashlight, toggle the is on variable that will create in a second. And if it isn't available, we'll simply log out to the console. So fairly straightforward, simply toggling the flashlight on or off and then updating the is on variable, which we'll use to change the color of the fab button inside of our view. So let's write this function. We're going to do async toggle flash, and this will return a promise of type void. We'll start off by determining whether the flashlight is available or not. So let available is equal to the resolved promise of this dot is available. If it is available, then we want to resolve this dot flashlight dot toggle. And after that's toggled, we want to simply add this dot is on is equal to the opposite of this dot is on. So we need to make that boolean at the top and we'll initialize it to false. So essentially we want to say if we do toggle the flashlight, then we're going to turn this dot is on from false to true. 
And if it isn't available, we're simply going to log out isn't available. Now, because we've created this is on variable, we can, of course, determine whether the flashlight is on or off. So we can simply go to our color of our button and we can basically say if the flashlight is on, then we want to display the secondary color. If it's not, we want to display it light. So let's pretend that's on by changing is on to true. And we should see in our view that our button turns green. So let's do the same for our ion icon. We can say if it's on, then we want to put iOS flash. If it's not on, we want to put iOS flash outline. As you can see, our flash is filled in to determine that it's on. And if we put this to false, it should go back to gray and it should be in outline. So the last thing we need to do is now change our button click event to toggle flash. And if we test this on the device, it should of course toggle our flash from on to off as well as updating the UI to show these results. The flashlight also has other functions which you can use. We could make async turn on flash, which returns a promise of void. And we could resolve the promise by saying await this.flashlight.switch on. And this would of course switch on the flashlight. We have turn off flash, which we could also create. And that is simply this.flashlight.switch off. Instead of using a local variable such as this.on to determine whether the flashlight is on or off, we could use async is flash on. And this returns a promise of type boolean. And we could return the resolve promise of this.flashlight.is switched on. Then we would get the result of depending whether the flashlight is switched on or off. This would be good if you want to use it across components rather than our simple use case right now. If this video helps you, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out learnionic2.com for more Ionic 2 tutorials.